Nora Smith, typically love the videos, but you cannot make sunscreen from scratch. Unless hey beautiful people how you are doing today it's your girl destiny here and welcome to my channel how you are doing hope you guys are doing fantastic so nara smith and her husband are on everybody's lips now everybody's talking about nara, nara smith and this is what happened nara smith posted a video on the page of her husband making sunscreen and this has literally called all the dermatologists the beauty gurus the skincare queens and everybody talking about this so if you don't know who nara smith is then um where have you been okay but i'm just going to let you know who she is if you don't this is the first time you're hearing of her nara smith is a popular influencer on tiktok and she's known for usually making things from scratch food chewing gum cereal cheese i know that she's known for that a couple of days ago slash couple of weeks ago she was called out by a south african content creator for copying her okay i have to put that there okay so yes, we're talking about the same lady. So she posted this video of her husband. She went on to say, oh, they were going out, they ran out of sunscreen, and then her husband decided to make sunscreen. And the list of ingredients that was listed in the maid of sunscreen and all that just got everybody talking about this sunscreen that Nara Smith's husband made. Lucky is his name, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Anyway, guys, let's go check out this video. And if you know anything about skincare or you know about the composition of skincare, beauty product, and even sunscreen, I'd like to know your own take on this sunscreen. Do you sanction this sunscreen? Is it sunscreen that you think people should use? Let me know your thoughts. Anyway, guys, let's go check out this video that got everybody talking. This video is viral, literally. Let's go check it out, and then we'll come back and talk more. We've been spending a lot of time outside by the pool, and I realized that we ran out of sunscreen. I asked Lucky to make me some. We all burn pretty easily, so we went with something with a little bit more SPF. He started by adding some coconut into his bowl. He's a baker, so he makes sure that everything is very precise before moving on to adding some beeswax, shea butter, and also some cocoa butter. Once all of that was combined in the bowl, he added some jojoba oil as well. He then filled a pot with some water before placing it on the stove, letting it come to a boil and placing the glass bowl on top of that. He continuously stirred until everything was melted and combined. Once it was taken off the heat, he added some zinc oxide powder to that before whisking that all together for about a minute, just making sure that it's all coming together. Once everything was combined, he transferred it over to a glass jar before closing that and popping that in the fridge to solidify. About an hour later, it was all solid and ready to apply. This went on so smooth and didn't leave a white cast. So if you know, you know that that was the sunscreen. And a lot of people usually get aspired and inspired by Nara Smith and how she's able to make things from scratch. But do you think that trying to make sunscreen from scratch is going too far or you think that that was a perfect ingredient? I'd like to know your own take about that video down in the comment section. That video has gotten everybody and everybody talking. Like, that video has gone viral and everybody's talking about it. I have my own thoughts on this Nara Smith, a husband making things from scratch, sunscreen from scratch. I have my own take on this, but I want to know what you think down in the comment section, okay? I'm going to share my own thoughts later on in the video. And also, I'm going to also share a clip an additional clip of how nara smith used to sound before she started creating content like this make it things from scratch okay how she normally used to sound before she switched it up to the loud tone like this <laughs> don't worry just watch to the end okay so before we go check out what people think about this video that has gotten everybody talking i want to know what you think but before we go check it out please go ahead and hit the subscribe button to this channel and click the notification bell so you get notified once I upload video, you don't want to miss out on the videos we post here on this channel. We post two videos every day and we have amazing conversation here. So you don't want to miss out by clicking on the notification, the subscribe button and the notification so you'll be notified. Okay. All right. Thank you. So anyway, guys, let's go check out people's thoughts on this. Then I'll come back and share more of my thoughts. Listen, in Nara homemade recipes we trust, but Nara, you might have gone a little too far with this DIY recipe. And I love a little DIY, but let's get into why this is probably not safe for you to do at home from a scientific and regulatory standpoint most commercial sunscreens undergo literally so much testing to make sure they provide effective protection against uv radiation homemade sunscreens may not achieve the same level of protection i mean it's literally a drug in the united states so ingredients in commercial sunscreen are very carefully regulated to ensure safety and efficacy 
homemade sunscreens might actually pose a health risk, especially if they're not formulated right and preserved right. So since you don't know if this has the right amount of sun protection factor, you're risking premature aging, sunburns, also increased cancer risk. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I would strongly advise against making your own sunscreens. It's really not worth the health risk, trust me. I know a get back plan when I see it. And now our girl, I'm on to you. Because <laughs> the internet just last week, y'all was, I hate her. I hate her. She started recipes from Nelly. I hate her. I hate her. This week, y'all going to be trying out their sunscreen. She going to watch all of y'all fry like little pieces of bacon. <laughs> I love the game plan, girl. I see it. Did Laura Smith go too far this time making homemade sunscreen? The main ingredient in her homemade sunscreen is zinc oxide. The FDA researched 16 different ingredients and determined that only two were considered generally safe and effective, and those were zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. These remaining 12 ingredients were considered not generally safe and effective. Safe? Not so safe. I don't know if these are just unsafe or if they're also ineffective. So I pulled up the ingredients of a generic sunscreen and you can find pretty much all of the unsafe ingredients here. And I don't even see zinc oxide at all. That being said, I remembered this photo and I was thinking how all of these sunscreens that are on the market and have passed all of the rigorous testing are not that effective, let alone some homemade coconut whatever sunscreen that someone's making from scratch. But if the whole family is using it and they're not getting burned, then I guess it's working, right? I'm outside by the pool and I realized that we ran out of sunscreen, but I asked Lucky to make me some. We all burn pretty easily, so we went with something with a little bit more SPF. If you saw that video and you want to make your own sunscreen from scratch, let me tell you right now, it is a horrible idea. What she made is a moisturizer, not a sunscreen. Simply putting zinc oxide in a formula does not mean it's incorporated, tested, trustworthy, or reliable, and take that from someone who actually works in product development. If you're looking for a really good natural organic sunscreen, let me tell you right now, anyone who tells you they have one is lying to you. Sunscreen is one of the only skincare products around the world that is regulated as a drug. It is a drug. It is a medicine. It's not just a random thing that you can put onto your body and say it's protecting you. You need a lab. You need equipment. You need scientific data to prove that a sunscreen is efficacious. Nara Smith, typically love the videos, but you cannot make sunscreen from scratch unless you're a cosmetic chemist. We've been spending a lot of time outside by the pool, and I realized that we ran out. No hate to the original creator, but, you know, I feel like videos like this should come with a warning, a PSA or something, because that's not sunscreen. Adding the zinc oxide, th that's not sunscreen, especially because you're not even combining the ingredients properly. You're using a whisk. A whisk is used to combine food food <laughs> not things that's supposed to protect your skin like that it's literally just sitting in there it's doing nothing it's doing nothing y'all will be baking and burnt like a chicharron before any protection comes your way like please do not do not use this at all Going to your pantry and grabbing a jar of coconut oil and mixing it with some zinc oxide powder that you just randomly had laying around to make sunscreen, knowing that your husband is a god vampire and needs all the sun protection he can get is the epitome of you just be doing shit. <laughs> like at this point, I'm really starting to wonder how far do y'all live from the door? I know it's not that guy. Y'all ain't got no neighborhood Walmart. Do y'all just not have a car? I'm so confused. <laughs>
Like certain stuff just really does not need to be made from scratch. The bubble gum was already pushing it because a pack of gum is 25 cent, Nara. But making sunscreen from scratch? Oh, you have really crossed the line. <laughs> The amount of dermatologists that came on this app and said, please do not try this, should let you know that you're playing with fire, girl. <laughs> Literally, sunburn. Like, I know the controversy that you was just going through with the other creator, how she was trying to say you were stealing her recipes, had you a little shook, so you had to do something to think outside the box. But this ain't it, Buki. <laughs> because that is not a sunscreen, that is a body butter. Like, you are asking for mesothelioma if you go outside with that sunscreen on. <laughs> This went on so smooth and didn't leave a white cast. And that's because there's not enough zinc in the formula to offer any significant amount of protection or coverage. Many people may not know this, but zinc oxide is a pigment. It's used in paint as zinc white. Sure, it's more transparent than titanium dioxide, but it's still a pigment nonetheless. And pigments have coverage. Despite what the internet would have you to believe, there is not a mineral sunscreen on the market that's not a hybrid and that's not using nano zinc that does not have a white cast. And most SPF 30s on the market that only use zinc oxide have a concentration of about 20% zinc oxide like natives. But based on the measurements shown in that recipe, this formula has a zinc oxide concentration of about 11%, roughly half of what's in the SPF 30s on the market. So we're gonna guesstimate that this has an SPF rating of about 15, which isn't very effective because doctors recommend an SPF rating of at least a 30 to get any significant amount of protection. But realistically, it has an SPF rating of closer to a 10, maybe, because there is no way to properly disperse zinc oxide with a whisk. And the reason I know it's not properly dispersed is because zinc oxide has a bluish white color to it and this is off-white, like vanilla color. And there really is no way of getting a proper dispersion at home, even if you use like a stand mixer. It is really difficult to properly stabilize zinc oxide and give you a proper suspension that gives you full coverage, even in an industrial setting with a homogenizer. So for that reason alone, DIY sunscreen is not the vibe. A great video for entertainment purposes, but please do not try to follow this. Hi, dermatologist here. So many of you tagged me in this video. These are not the only people who have done this on social media, and I think it's really irresponsible. Making some sort of oil-based solution and then dropping zinc oxide in it does not equal a sunscreen. There are a lot of other ingredients that go into sunscreens that make them effective aside from the UV filters, things that help with film forming and stability, and a lot of my colleagues here have pointed that out already. Also, just throwing zinc oxide in something is not going to make it very sun protective because the zinc oxide that is used in sunscreens is milled and mixed in a very particular way to make sure that it is the right size aggregates to block sun and spread well. So doing this probably will not give high protection or even protection at that. And yeah, like just don't play chemist at home. Please. We've been spending a lot of time outside by the pool, and I realized that we ran out of sunscreen. I asked Lucky to make me some. Miss Nara Aziz Smith, be so for real right now. I'm a dermatologist, and I don't know what shocked me more: Nara Smith making her own sunscreen or Kiehl's commenting, "We love to see it." Um. No, we don't. And what is also so wild to me is that there are so many recipes available online about how to make sunscreen. As if it's just as simple as baking like a crumble cookie because you ran out of it at the store. Now, every sunscreen on the market undergoes rigorous testing and that's to make sure that it's actually protecting you from UV. And most importantly, it's stopping you from burning. Because just a quick note, even one episode of blistering sunburn doubles your chance of getting melanoma. And if you're making a DIY sunscreen at home, you literally have no idea how much protection it's giving you. It could be SPF 2, it could be SPF 10. I mean, honesty, it's anyone's guess. So a homemade bubble tea, yes. But a homemade sunscreen, no. We've been spending a lot of time outside by the pool and I realized that we ran out of sunscreen. I asked Lucky to make me some. We all burn pretty easily, so we went with something with a little bit more SPF. He started by adding some coconut into his bowl. He's a baker, so he makes sure that everything is very precise before him. Don't get me wrong, I love Nara Smith. I love her videos. I think they're super calming, creative. If the girl wants to make her own bubble gum or her boba tea, go at it. But the one thing you shouldn't do is try to make your own sunscreen. Listen, sunscreens have been tried and true. They go through rigorous testing to ensure what kind of SPF you're getting. What Nara Smith is doing here is adding zinc to oil. That is not a sunscreen. You basically just made a zinc moisturizer. 
In order for a product to be called a sunscreen, it has to be tested to determine its SPF. SPF is actually tested in a lab and it's determined by how long it takes the skin to actually redden with the sunscreen and without the sunscreen. That's where we get the numbers like SPF 30, 45. This is probably like an SPF 2 or 5. I don't know. Don't get me wrong, there's no hate for Nara Smith here. I think it's phenomenal that she goes that extra mile for her family, making everything from scratch. That's great. That can't be me. That'll never be me. But the one thing that I am is a dermatologist. We've been spending a lot of time outside by the pool, and I realized that we ran out of sunscreen, but asked Lucky to make me some. We all burn pretty easily, so we went with something with a little bit more SPF. Combined. Once it was taken off the heat, he added some zinc oxide powder to that before whisking that all together for about a minute, just making sure that it's all coming together. This went on so smooth and didn't leave a white. See, this is what happens when a doctor gets on here, uses their credentials to pretend that you can formulate your own sunscreen, while then other influencers are going to assume it's okay, copy it, and the misinformation spreads even further. As I've said in other videos reacting to similar content, you cannot make your own sunscreen. Sunscreen formulation is very complicated and you can't just mix zinc oxide powder into emollients, oils, and expect it to protect you properly. First of all, the zinc oxide will, on a microscopic level, be clumped together. So when it goes on the skin, it's not going to provide an even layer of protection. And also, you're not going to have the film forming components in there, so you're going to have areas where there's just not any protection whatsoever. Just because you make a cream with zinc oxide, it doesn't mean it's going to work like a sunscreen. This is really dangerous. I don't recommend doing it. If you don't have sunscreen around, you still have other options, which you should be leaning into regardless, which includes wearing a hat, long sleeves, sun protective clothing, seeking shade. These are all important additional measures that you can take to protect your skin from the sun's harmful UV rays. Okay, We've been okay. spending a lot of time outside by the pool and I realized that we ran out of sunscreen. Guys, Nara and Lucky are playing us. They're trolling us. They are not actually making their own sunscreen. They've been doing this whole bit where she says, I think we've ran out of X. I'm going to make my own, like toothpaste. They are marketing geniuses and they know that controversy increases engagement. So look at how this sunscreen video has gone viral. But for those of you who think that she's actually serious and you also want to start making your sunscreen at home, let me tell you as a dermatologist, do not do it. Do not play cosmetic chemist in your own home. If you thought that putting zinc in a moisturizer base is enough to make a good SPF sunscreen, then why don't you just use diaper paste like desitin? That's straight up zinc. There's a lot more that goes into making and formulating a good and effective sunscreen. You have your SPF filters, which we know she's using zinc, but how is that being stabilized? How much SPF is that providing? You also need some type of preservative to stabilize the formula so that you're not getting bacteria and mold growing in your product. Lastly, and most importantly, there is no testing done on this type of DIY sunscreen, so you have no idea how much sun protection it's actually providing. Is it SPF 1, 5, 7? Who knows? Is it even giving you any sun protection? Who knows? Maybe not. If you're thinking of making sunscreen at home, seriously, just don't do it. I've seen a bunch of videos floating around on TikTok where the people telling you to make sunscreens at home look incredibly sunburned and have tons of sun damage on their skin. It is one of the worst ideas I've ever heard because you think you're protected, but in reality, you are not. So while I also, like the rest of you, love watching two extremely beautiful people make DIY recipes in their very beautiful home, I will say this is one area where you should not take their advice. Okay, Doc. Please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. I'd love to know what you think about this conversation, the sunscreen conversation, down in the comment section. But please keep it respectful. As always, you're on this channel. We're allowed to disagree, but we do it in a respectful way. So go ahead and share your thoughts. I'd love to know what you think. 
So I personally, I have a lot to say about this, not just particularly about the sunscreen as a whole, is the Nara Smith and Lucky Smith all concept on how they create their content and all that. I know last, uh, the life we had um, last week, we talked about Nara Smith dressing up to cook and all that. But the truth is that some people really believe that Nara Smith content is really organic. She makes things from scratch because you see a lot of people like really aspire and inspire to be like her and want to actually start making things from scratch because most of the things out there in the market is full of toxic. We need to start being very organic and make our own things ourselves, like toothpaste, um, chewing gum, and sunscreen and all that. But one thing, people, I, I just want to really break down the Nara Smith uh, brand because for me, a lot of people, if you're not a content creator, you may see it as being... Um, real but i feel personally like this nurse meet oh um, this is my own thought okay this is my own thought here i'm not saying that to the fact of it but i'm saying that i think that this old nurse meet um brand is an act and people should take a content with a pinch of salt and for me that is where i have little issues about the nurse meat content i don't like the way you create your content the way you choose to want to go with your content is really none of my business like do you do whatever makes you feel all right but when you are portraying a type of lifestyle that is unrealistic and that that is not what you do for me that just make me give you the side eye because so i'll play a video of what nara smith used to uh, sound like so for me personally i feel like the nara smith old thing is they have entire team to themselves and all that have you ever asked yourself like is it realistic for you to be in the kitchen and you're cleaning like that? Even look at how the husband is um, even going the old mm, sexy way to make the, this thing. It's all performance. And people just need to identify this with content creators that are performing right, and they are making it come across like that is real life. And that, for me, that's why I have my own issues with those type of content. But have you ever thought about who makes things like that and the environment they're making those things seems very clean and all that? How come? And when they're making this their video, they take different shots. And if you've ever created content before, you know, or if you've never created content before, just try and film something straightforward and something above. You, you see the task because you have to move and you have to make sure that you're in the same position when you do that. But you can see clearly that they are, that they are filming from different angles. That means, if you're a content creator, you know what I'm saying, that means you have to do multiple takes for you to get the shot and you have to make it seem seamlessly and which that is work. And then you even see the way Narasmi dress up in, to come and film this content. Nobody is in the kitchen whipping up um, toothpaste, how to make toothpaste looking like that and then still have time to travel, model she's a model, she's a mom where are the kids, why she's doing all this when is the time she has to go on, practice some of this recipe and make sure that they are perfect when is the time she has to edit these videos, when is the time she has to take care of her kids, where is a newborn kid why they do this, I know that if you have kids you know how handful and how taxi it is, but Nara Smith makes, it feel, makes you feel like oh, she's this mom that is making things 100% from scratch and she gets her family in order, she and her husband they are all cute and lovely they all come out looking no guys you guys should be able to differentiate this type of content at this time and just know that some content are just for entertainment purposes. And that's where I wish that Nara Smith can make a content and literally state that this is for entertainment purpose. Because I feel like this can be a very um, negative narrative going out there because this has gotten some young girls, some women compare themselves, ask themselves like they want to, they aspire to be like a Nara Smith when this is not reality, when this is not realistic, it is not possible for you to have all those other things going on in your life and yet you still have time for this. I personally, I feel like Nara Smith has an entire team behind her. They come with a recipe, they come with idea, they come with clothes, hair, Makeup, they, like I feel like it's a full production that goes on in the Nara Smith house on film days. And I feel like they have film days where they film and then the other days she's doing other things and being a mom. I really feel so. Because as a content creator, you know that you have to do everything yourself. And I don't, I'm not saying moms don't do that. 
the way Nara Smith makes this whole thing seems very effortlessly, it is not that effortlessly, except you have thousands and thousands of help doing it. And she always all, also wants to make it seem like, oh, we just roll out of bed, there is no sunscreen. Really. Really. And this is why when we, we talked about um, the South Africa lady that called her out of, for copying her, I said in that video, and there's no shade to Nara Smith, okay? But I said in that video, Onessa Wa feel very, very more organic, why Nara Smith seems very performative to me. And that is what it is. Nara Smith is a full production. So you people, oh, take it with a pinch of salt. And now they are even making sunscreen, and because they understand this will strike conversation. I feel like Nara Smith management and all that, they are very intentional about the type of content they put out there and how they put it out there because they know it's going to strike, bring in the engagement, bring in the money, and all that. So, but I personally, I feel like it's just a very dangerous narrative they are selling out there for people. Imagine some people watching this video and really thinking that they can go get sunscreen and whip it off their kitchen just like that, and eventually ending up burning their skin. I had a severe sunburn February, and I'm still suffering the consequences of it. Having, even as a black person. So having a son born is a very, please, guys, know what videos you watch on the internet that you know, okay, this is something I should take and try it in my own life and try it in my kitchen. I know some things that they are just for entertainment purpose, but they are just for engagement and just walk away, okay? So before I go, I need you guys to see this video. You're telling me that some people do not know what the <laughs> difference between inside and outside clothes are. Let me paint a picture. My husband came back from the gym the other night. He was playing basketball in his gym clothes that he's kind of been wearing all day. And then I'm in bed, freshly showered, new PJs on. And he tries to come and lay in bed, cuddling me with his outside clothes. I don't know whether I'm just weird. <laughs> But there's special clothes dedicated to wear inside and then outside clothes. I have different categories of clothes. I have outside clothes that I wear to go outside, to go to the restaurant, grab coffee, sit in the car, all that. But I do not wear those clothes inside. So once I'm inside, I have two categories. I've got inside clothes that I wear sitting on the couch, sitting at the table, walking around, doing stuff with. And then I have freshly washed PJs that are dedicated to just wearing in my bed. If I wear those and accidentally sit on the couch, I will have to change them and put them back in the wash. Is anyone else like this? So yes, that was exactly how Nara Smith did. That, those were the type of content she was doing before. Just with really a casual lifestyle and now she's going on with a so smooth voice. And I'm not saying that as a content creator, you don't involve, you don't um, change your style, switch up your style and see what works for you and your audience. But that's just to say that I personally, I feel like Nara Smith is an entire production and there's nothing wrong with that, really, for you to have an entire production, very team that plans out your entire shooting day. There's nothing wrong with it. But I feel like they should inform people so that people don't have this unrealistic expectation, okay? Anyway, guys, please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. I'd love to know what you think about this amazing conversation down in the comment section. But please keep it respectful as always. You're on this channel. We're allowed to disagree, but we do it in a respectful way. So go ahead, feel free, and share your thoughts. Don't forget to share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation because that's what we do here. We have banging conversation so go ahead and share this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up smash the like button because this helps youtube to push out my content for more people to see and that'll be you supporting this channel and this girl yeah with that all said guys subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video